Seller Cloud has an advanced purchasing system where you can order products and receive vendor shipments directly into your inventory. In this tutorial, we'll focus on how to create a purchase order and add products to it. Under the Inventory tab, click on Purchasing. Now click on the New Purchase Order button to open a new purchase order. On this page, you'll initiate the creation of a purchase order. If you have multiple companies, select the right one and enter a description of the purchase order. There are three purchase order types, a regular purchase order, a credit memo, and a vendor offer. For this demonstration, we'll create a regular purchase order. Now select the vendor and add a vendor note if necessary. Click Save and the purchase order will open with an assigned PO number. In this area, you can review and edit purchase order details, including the ordering company, the order date, and the priority level. You can also edit the purchase order description and change the vendor. Clicking on the detail link will open the vendor window to view and edit vendor details. Special payment terms arranged with the vendor can be selected from this dropdown. You can also enter special shipping instructions. Select the receiving warehouse. Enter a shipping address if there is no default ship to address, or select one from the drop down menu. To add an address to the drop down, click on the Manage Address Book button. Now we'll add products to the purchase order. Click Add Products and use the search window to find the product you need to order. Hovering your mouse over the item SKU will display sales history of the product. This information can help you decide on the quantity you need to order. For products that are not yet in your catalog, you have the option to create them here by clicking Add New Product and then adding the product via Amazon. Enter the order quantity and click Add to Purchase Order. After you've finished adding all the items you want to order, click Close Window and the products will be added to the purchase order. You can also add items to the purchase using a file upload. Click on the Upload Purchase Order Items link to download a file template, and then enter the item values into the column. Now enter the vendor SKU. The vendor SKU that you enter will be saved to this item so that the next time you add it to a purchase order, the vendor SKU will automatically appear. The vendor SKU will also be printed on the purchase order PDF file. Enter the order quantity if you have not yet done so, as well as the vendor's unit price. Let's look at adding shipping and third-party cost. In the shipping total box, enter the shipping cost that the vendor is charging. Entering a minimum shipping cost into this client setting will require that minimum cost to be entered on the purchase order before it can be saved. This helps ensure that the profit and loss report will be accurate. A third-party cost is a cost that does not come from the vendor, but from an outside party. Included in this cost can be a broker fee or shipping fees that are not charged by the vendor. Third-party costs are included in a profit and loss report, but are separated from the vendor costs. These costs are factored into the average cost of an item, which can be found on the profit and loss tab in any order. It is also outlined in greater detail on the product. Open the product toolbox and click Purchasing. Click on the link next to the Average Cost field and a window will open displaying the cost factors. When the purchase order is completed to your satisfaction, click Save. Once you send the purchase order to the vendor, change the purchase order status to Ordered. Changing the status to Ordered will enable you to filter unfillable orders by ordered and not ordered items to prevent double ordering a product. For more information on how to create a purchase order and unfillable orders, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.